How are we doing, everybody? Really in teach, ready to preach, as always. Happy Jackie Robinson Day. <laughs> that one went right over my head. Uh, day that he debuted Major League Baseball. Jackie Robinson oh, Day. See, I, I know today is just tax day. Happy tax day. Ha- happy Uncle Sam Day. Well, that depends. Are you the American that believes that uh, America's Day is July 4th? Or are you the American that believes that America's Day is April 15th? Both. I believe today is the day you turn your taxes in, and tomorrow is the day where you committed fraud. Or I shouldn't say Uh, fraud. You commit evasion. Speaking of which, oh, man. Uh, To say the least, Uncle Sam fucked me hard this year. Now, the state of Connecticut, that's different. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, the pooch wanted to uh, have some pets and cuddles on this show. Liter- literally, everybody, I was about to turn the mic on, and Bella just kind of looks at me and she just goes up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Commands it. <laughs> uh, so, as far as everything goes, I unfortunately did not be able to get the package out to teaching time and saturday i had my car worked on by the time that i was able to pick it up and have payments sorted, everything else they were closed so hopefully next show we actually get to it but thanks to a member of the show and we know it was bry um there's a couple of things i wanted to touch base about as far as flavors and the first one is actually the guava warfare so, Teach, mm-hmm. I'm very surprised, like, at first, right, before I tried it, people like yourself, you just go, you know what? Okay, it's guava. There's so much better out there than guava. But sure enough, I don't have no idea how, is that like a different guava? Is it like a, diff, like a different kind of guava? Like, uh, remember how... They made uh, the first dragon sweat, mm-hmm. and they said it's yellow dragon fruit, not pink dragon fruit. Mm-hmm. Is it something like that? Because I was very surprised that it was so sweet. Uh, to be honest with you, I've never eaten real guava, so all I know of guava is by liquid form, so guava is guava to me, but it is sweeter. Well, that's why I'm saying, like, uh, just like what Bryce said, it's like it's got a candy to it. Like, it's not... I didn't think of it as a guava flavor, but hey, whatever the hell you want to label it as, it's good. I want to get Bisso on the show so bad. Be pretty easy to probably. Yeah, I gotta we get we gotta ask him after the show is over because I think he's got a good amount to talk about and he's still doing videos even after his mouth procedure. Honestly, good for him, man. Seems to be doing all right with himself. And speaking of glitch, if you can, I know there's a restock, everything else, but get some guava warfare back in stock, eh? Speaking of back in stock, in a funny way, it's technically a reskin, but I'm happy it's a reskin in a way. And I have been told and can confirm uh, that it's a very, very tweaked, slightly tweaked formula. Not so much, I shouldn't say formula, but taste, etc. Uh, Bomb Pop is back. Except it's now called Skill Issue. I love the name. I love the name. Uh, it's a collab with Ghost of Tabor. I think is how you pronounce it like that. Uh, but it's Bomber Popsicle. It is back. I have been told uh, that they updated the flavor just a tad bit. So technically speaking, this is a 3.5 formula? That's what As you and I decided to call it, a 3.5. So the way that we kind of discuss this, everybody, is the first, uh, I was able to try the first Bomber Pop from Glitch. This is the V1. So I was talking with Laz Saiyan about this, and from what he told me, and I was just like, okay, I'm curious. So he said the first one didn't capture all three flavors, which I agree. You did not get the lime in there. That tartness was not in there. It was a blue raspberry cherry mix. There was no lime. So it was not part of the second line or the... What, what was the line called again? Why am I drawing a blank? Pro line. 
the pro line, sorry. It was not part of the pro line series, but is now in the gaming line. It was this past summer as the, I actually got it here. If my arm can <clears throat> rocket pop. Just as rocket pop with the flavor being red, white, and blue popsicle. And now it says in the description here, bomber popsicle. So with the updated formula, okay, so the first one, V1, skip it. This would be V3. V3, and then V3.5 is what's now in the glitch site. Just to have everything in order. Just to have it in order. But I just, I wonder about myself. And uh, I find it very funny because I remember we've talked about it for so long. Do you need to bring it back? Maybe have it for like halfway through spring, and at the end of summer, you wait for the next year, kind of like what G Fuel did with their cherry limeade. It would only be around for the fourth of July BOGO, and then that'd be it. Mm -hmm. And then they took it away for a few years for whatever the hell reason that was. I said, I have no, I don't think there's any reason for it to be going away anytime soon right now. Unless they sell out, of course, which, by the way, I'm very surprised how fast uh, Berry Plume and Guava Warfare have been selling. Great flavors. Because those things have been going off the shelf. Absolutely off the shelf. Also, as far as another unvaulted, uh, we've had this uh, topic on the show a few times. G Fuel Unvaulted Sour Pixel Potion. Again? Yes. Interesting. Yes. Now, again, if you're a big one like G Fuel, I think it, I mean, when you pick a fruit, shouldn't you kind of have like every single fruit available if they all do well? Like candies all like personal preference, but everybody's got a few fruits that they like. I understand allergies and all that. Like I, I found out recon was allergic <laughs> to bananas, which that's not a common one. Can't confirm. Well, you, you mentioned it a show or two ago. And then there's just some others like uh, the White Elephant Mystery flavor. It still hasn't announced what it is because no one's got it right. And so on and so on. But I have tried a few and I also want your thoughts on this. So if I told you that they had a flavor that I would classify as Theraflu. Is it Cherry? No. Great medicine? No. Bubble gum? No. I've never had that way you just spoke of, so I'm just going off of like medicine taste. So Theraflu. Mm -hmm. So the this was the this is always a cool collab, except that I think even a very big Doom fan in AO Jimbo would tell you that this is it's a W collab, but L flavor. Sour Demonade. Great. Spicy Demonade. Acquired taste. Honey Lemon. Garbage. Uh, I did see your, your pseudo review on that, which I'm honestly surprised I did a garbage take on that flavor because at face value, you would think a Honey Lemon would be a good flavor. The thing is, when if it's like a if they did like a honey lemonade, like if imagine lemonade and it's sweetened with a little honey, I'm I'm down for that. Make it like a honey lemon tea. I'm all for it. But no, it tastes like the cough drops I got when I'm feeling out of the weather. It tastes like Theraflu. It doesn't taste like a hot summer day like you want it to be. And if you try it warm, again, it's going to be that tart thing that you drink when you're trying to feel better and you take it before you go to sleep. A bad idea. <clears throat> again, it's so bad, that should have been their April Fool's flavor. So is Rack it... Your diaper and give us that. Do you think it's because of the honey? Because I can't see them even with the... No. The... No. Because, again... The, the the funny thing is, is that the lemon note, it's almost like a, 
it's not bitter or anything else. It's got like this medicine lemon to it. Well, that's why I'm genuinely surprised because even knowing like the history and past of their flavors and everything, I'm surprised they could mess up a lemon. I could see it being the honey, but the lemon surprises me. They made the lemon taste again. It's just weird because when the you gotta be careful with the lemon. It's not tart. You can't make it like a lemonade, otherwise it doesn't stand out. I just don't know what they were thinking of. I'm not sure if somebody thought this was a joke, but it was a missed opportunity. So you're telling me it was a Doom collab? It was a Doom collab. Hmm. Oh, wait, Doom? Which, yes. Um... Because Doom has the lemon flavors. Translation. The collab should have been Halls or Ricola. And I have not been on this website in forever. Yeah, I'm on it here and there. I scroll through everything for research purposes. And uh, as far as the Lost Plagueis, the Permissin, it is an exotic, I believe it's an exotic tomato ish acquired taste just not for me interesting huh. i guess it wasn't a collab i thought i thought it was a doom collab at first or at least that was an announcement i guess not well scratch that i just looked it up again I mean, it's already, it's already on sale, which is funny. Well, I mean, there's a good amount of them on sale. And if you, if, oh, hold on. Let's see if the ones that are on sale suck or not. So they Let's brought see. back Honey Sour lemon. Pixel oh, Potion. They brought back Sour Fruit Punch. Wait. Which is Doozy Fruit, which I, I honestly don't blame them because the reason why that was cut short was because Phase Swag left. I don't blame them for bringing that back because that was a good flavor. They need again. Yeah, it's a solid fruit flavor. It's a sour flavor. Uh, let's see. Watermelon uh, mint is on sale. Not unless sure. we need to find a, a new sample person because our previous one is out of the game anymore. Because uh, this ego boost intrigues me. I'm sure it's still chalky, but cherry orange pomegranate. Hmm. Hmm. They did a collab with Armor Core. Yes. Why do I feel like that came out way too late? Um, it probably came out way later after the game was out. Well, pre-order. Might have to. Uh... <laughs> Might have to uh, see how this all goes. I mean, Travels Ale, Traveler's Ale's on sale. That's the... Remember I told you it's the Phase 51, but lime instead of melon? Brother, will they just ever let Watermelon Mint go? Just just let it go. Let Dub Melon Mint go. But they did let it go, and it was brought back by fans. Yeah, and it's on sale. And at least, like, at least they have a coconut flavor with pineapple orange now. That makes sense. Wait, a coconut with a pineapple orange? That's been a thing for a while. Wild Styles? Is that supposed to be... Uh, oh, it's just a Bahama that's, Mama reskin. That's that's a Bahama Mama reskin. Yeah. Bahama Mama has been around forever. I just don't know if uh, Roman's around with G Fuel anymore because he stopped drinking alcohol and caffeine a long time ago. You know, I, don't, I sincerely don't I think I ever tried the Nuka-Cola Quantum. Also, this is very weird. The fact that I'm drinking a blue monster on the cast of all things. I'm pretty sure everyone's kind of like appalled. I'm surprised you haven't picked yourself up a tub of Ginyu Force. Because it's straight pineapple. It's the Battle Juice reskin. And honestly, uh, again, I'm just trying to get through a bunch of tubs as it is now. I've been can experimenting. I've been going through some other stuff. It It's so hard for me to go through tubs. You know what I mean? Yes, Brian, I agree. That's a hot take from us because 
me personally, I've said so many times, I'm not a fan of the Green Monster. I think it's just too sweet. I mean, the only thing I'm going to really give them credit here for is good on them for finally having just a straight lemonade. Oof. You mean past Nate shot? Yeah. Yeah, and at least it also has a good tub art too, but that's thanks to yes. it being Dragon Ball. One moment, she's had enough. <laughs> Come on, girl. She's, she's right there. <sighs> Surprisingly, the dismount was uh, pain-free. <laughs> I was totally not expecting that, man. I really was. I'm surprised they have a blackberry tea flavor. And it's only in 15 servings, which is weird to me. I've said it too. I know it's been a while since you've been on the site. Forever since I've been on this site. Isaac Tears, we got the free guy reskin. All goaded. Uh, let's see what else we got as far as news goes. Not really much. So I oh. guess it's National Anime Day, so they just release a anime collab line it's a lot of days for a lot of things apparently interesting oh quirk not bad blueberry lemon matcha so i'll just say this uh matcha is a thing you like or you don't it's a japanese tea mm-hmm and the lemon's a little more powerful than I'd like it to be, so I was kind of a little weirded out on it, but I thought it was good. thought it was good. Not an everyday type of thing, but I lean with it, rock with it. Honestly, uh, I would never personally buy it now, but I am happy and congratulate to seeing Shock have his flavor now in hydration. Yes. I think it's more sad, though. You can't buy it as hydration by itself. You have to get the collector to a uh, box, which is kind of yeah. uh, kind of sad. And they only have three hydration tubs at the moment. Also sad. Yeah, because otherwise it's a bundle. Wait, actually not even. As far as the them by itself, there's only three. And Kamehameha, I'm definitely not buying that. So here's something. I but didn't... again, I I said this too. Just remember, I, I'm out on the hydration line for G Fuel. You know this. Here's something that doesn't make sense to me. Why is their hive nectar hydration box 60 and yet shocks is 52? Both come with the shaker. Both come with the tub. I don't understand why. What makes hive eight dollars more? Seven dollars more. Let's find out. And it better not be an excuse that they have fake gold on top. I am unsure. That's that's so mind-boggling at the same time, so stupid. Mm-hmm. That is absolutely stupid. Now, apparently, they have a flavor coming out very soon called Kaiju Number no. 8. And it's a kiwi berry watermelon. Uh, that's a dartboard one to me. 
honestly, we've been saying it for forever that they have been just going with dartboard flavors, just throwing a dart wherever and wherever it lands and whatever fruit, they just mix them together. Although one thing that I actually give them credit for, because I wasn't sure if this was a last minute put together and this wasn't, I have no idea if it was a last minute uh, thing. I have no idea if they just reskinned it, but the Condensa collector's box, AKA the persona three reload, the reload, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. I'm very surprised that that sold out fast because just to think, right. I'm not surprised that, that has a diehard fan base. You could even make it a bad flavor and persona fans would buy it out. Well, also just remember that flavor was a creator flavor and then it got reverted over. What was the flavor? It did, the flavor was citrus strawberry that belonged to sniper wolf before she got cut. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Indeed so. Missed the opportunity somewhere. Although, again, I still wonder about what the hell they're trying to do with this can line or whatever there is. They might be going back and not doing so much with cans anymore. I'm just waiting for them to pull the plug on it, honestly. Here's a question looking on their site now, and I don't know if they made any uh, announcements, but last thing I'll check out on the site is that the Demonades are back, and I wonder if these were full 40 servings or if these were still the half. What again? So the Demonades are back on the site. Okay, so just to answer uh, Britt's question. So Britt, we did try the Rise Cotton Candy. Very good. It is the best cotton candy energy drink on the market as of this moment in time. Canned at least, but yes. What else is on the market that's powder or can that's better? Uh, I'm not saying it's better, but I will put it into the can category over than just powder. Okay, fair enough. Again, they, my favorite was the 15-calorie packet from G Fuel, and they took that away. They have the Demonades back on their site. I'm curious if they are full 40 servings or if they are still the 20 like they did previously. New CEO G Fuel is slowing things down to get a handle on inventory and things, I believe. No one likes pre-orders. Again, I've been saying this from the get-go. Listen, we gave it a pass. When it started to slow down during the Elden Ring. That's when Teach and I were still collecting these. If you remember uh, a little back in time, Teach. Mm -hmm. I think it was... Were you with uh, Were you a Glitch Affiliate at the time or no? I think I at that sure. exact moment. I don't think so at that exact moment. It's close though. It it's was not close. too long after. Because I remember... I remember you had, I remember it was being, it was Monday or Tuesday night, I think. Oh, wait, it was a Monday night. That's right. We got off the air and then I'm in your stream and I'm looking around and I also had to be careful because I was getting paid bi-weekly at the time. So I just remember I had a little sum and I'm like, yo, teach, you want me to save one for you? And you're like, I guess I'm waiting for next check. And I'm like, dude, I got you. And I just remember I woke up, I go through my regular routine. I want to say it's like seven, maybe seven thirty. I check it, and it said sold out. And everyone was trying to sell that box for a hundred bucks because it was a pre-order. And then, if you remember, it got held back twice. Number one, it was the plastic window. And number two, it was the gold flakes. I mean, we called them out on the pre-order, like constant pre-ordering of stuff. They were putting out product to where it wouldn't be coming out for even three months later, or shipping until three months later, and people were still pre-ordering it up. 
Well, I mean, the Elden Ring, they actually said, hey, this is going to be a while, but because the game is releasing and we're behind the ball, we want to do this. Oh, we're blaming the command. We're blaming the, you know, the ship's leaving late. We're bl blaming everything underneath the freaking sun. And then what goes on? Setbacks. I mean, it's crazy because I remember... I remember in the G Fuel group, I was the first one to get Blue Bomber Slushy. <laughs> I was one of the first to get the cans. I was helping other people get those cans. Yes, you were because you were, you were the plug at the time, man. You were the, you were the Mega Man Michigan man. Yep. I still remember the picture of having my car full trunk just full of slushy, and then there was another one that came out at the same time as it. What was it? Um. Because I was shipping both out. Yeah, it was Mega Man and it was... Crap. It was Mega Man. Was it Slushy at the time? I don't think it was Strawberry Slushy. That was already out. Because my, my local Walmart and whatnot didn't have that. Was it Butters? Mm, no. The Summit 1G? Shoot, let me see if I can even find it. Because I'm just trying to think about it. Uh, Sour Power, no. Sour Cherry was out. Snow Cone was out. Peach Rings was out. Rug out. Shiny Before Time. Sherbert, not out yet. Before Your Time. Oh, it was Ninja. It was the Nin Ninja. I was about to say. I was about to say, was it Ninja? Mm -hmm. They are both blue cans. Um, let's see. Titrovi. So any recommendations on which companies have the best powder flavors right now? Want to save money compared to buying Ghost or Nas a couple times a week at work. Ironically, so here's another one. I tried the sugar-free Nas. I believe they changed the formula over time. Because this one was 200 milligrams of caffeine. I remember it being much lower. Um, so if you're used to NOS and you want a good pineapple. So just keep in mind, these are just non-biased guys. If you go to the G Fuel website, there's plenty of codes around. The Ginyu Force is pineapple. That's just my take on certain things. As far as ghost, now, I feel like everybody has a certain craving for flavor. Like me, I had craving for uh, the low-carb monster, as I have today. Uh, you know, pick a fruit or pick a comfort flavor, something that you are really in the mood for a lot, or something that you think could be consistent. Uh, again, G Fuel, Glitch. I say, doesn't uh, uh, ghosts have powder? I don't like the ghost powder. You may not, but that could be an option for them to look into if they're already used to ghost. The problem being is just, I remember trying both of them. I've tried the powder compared to the can, and it's not close. If somebody wants to say it's because of carbonation, no, it's not. Also, it's like the water ratio, too. The water powder ratio is just off. See, now, you and I weren't personally the biggest of fans of the ghost powder, but other, like, they may be if they're already used to ghost. Like, me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of ghost cans. They're okay. Is there something similar to the White Zero Monster can? Hmm. Uh, I don't know if they still make it, but I think the closest thing to it would be the Maw Grapefruit. Ha. Yes, they do. Uh, come on, come on. Energy tubs. In general, though, to, uh, Mr. It's Trubin, there's... fruit and light citrus. So just uh, tell you what, I will post this. I could post this link right here for you. 
there's a lot of companies to check out and try out their sample kits, honestly. Um, if you're looking to go more to the powder right game. Right here, right here's the link for you. I mean, we've been preaching for forever to switch to a powder over just drinking an everyday can. You will save money in the long run, and it can be just as convenient. People Hearing people say, like, they won't buy a powder just because of the convenience of a can to me is silly. Just make a shaker the night before. Grab it in the morning. It's not that hard. It takes 30 seconds. A minute max. You're probably making lunch for yourself either the night before or uh, the morning of before you go to work. Just make a shaker. It's not that hard. No, it's not. I mean, I got set up in my garage where I basically, like, I try to pack everything uh, the day before. So I got a sandwich in there. And what got to me was I got a water dispenser that's in the fridge. So, and I got milk in there because I have a protein shake in the morning. There's like a kitchen counter in there. I have like my protein shake in there and such. So all I do is I grab a shaker from the inside with the ball in it. Milk's outside. Give her a good shake. And, uh. I told you my uh, a secret breakfast, right? A be uh, oh, wait, don't don't say it, don't say it. What is it? Uh, you would call it your uh, pureed nut spread. That's a hint. Uh, peanut butter. It's a PB and J in between Eggo waffles. Oh, see here, I was thinking. Uh, I know there's an acronym for it, but a uh, what is it? Egg bacon sam. Uh, what is it? You do bagel. What's your what's your egg egg uh, sandwich in the morning? A, a bacon uh, egg, ba bacon egg, and, uh, bacon egg and cheese on a roll, hash brown, salt, pepper, ketchup. There you go. There it is on a roll. Yes, like croissant. Croissant. No. No. A hard roll. Like hard roll. Hard roll. roll. Yes, brother. Do it on a bagel. That sounds delicious That's on a bagel. Uh, it, de it depends on where you get the bread from. There's some times where the, the bagels aren't as fresh. I mean, a lot of times I like it on a Portuguese. I respect the hash brown, though. Not everybody puts a hash brown uh, with their eggs like together. It's not an every it's not an every time thing, but I just think, you know, think about that. The bre bread of choice, okay? Bread of choice. We go bread. We got hash brown. We got... The meat of choice underneath right there. And then we got the cheese and the egg. Mod on. So again, salt, some pepper, people ketchup. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Yeah. Okay. See, he's got he's got good taste for breakfast. And, and some and some people do hot sauce, but me, I don't like I don't do spicy I, in the morning. I I would do the hot sauce. Yeah, not everyone could do hot sauce in the morning. I'm just not one of those people. I mean, it doesn't have to be the hottest of sauce. You can do a little bit of But pile. it depends now. Like, because I'm on a... So, what happens is my way to work, I'm at this div divide right here. If I, I used to go left and go three exits to pick up the truck, and there'd be a gas station right near that truck, and that's where that deli would be inside. Those Spanish ladies from six o'clock in the morning until two, Monday through Friday, and then I believe uh, six to six to eleven or six to twelve on Saturday, they'd hold it down for all the blue collars. Even some of the office job people looked in, see all the blue collars, the electricians, the union guys, all the guys wearing high vids, and go, "Holy shit, what you guys waiting around for? The union on strike? Oh, we're getting breakfast. Have some respect." Honestly, I, I could disagree with Bri any day of the week for any energy comparison, taste test, anything. That that can be all be a gentleman's thing. But mustard over ketchup for a br on eggs? You crazy. Now, again, I, I think when it comes to condiments, I'm, not, I'm just going to let that be. I'm just going to let that be. Because at the end of the day, right, you'd be surprised on what goes into making a barbecue sauce. And you want to know what actually you want to know what is one of the most original ways to make a good barbecue sauce? Ketchup, brown sugar, ketchup, grape jelly. What? A little bit of brown sugar. 
ketchup and grape jelly. Yes. Get the frick out. I I promise you. There's no way ketchup and grape jelly make a barbecue. I've done it. And I served it to my woman at the time. Really? You're yes. crazy. I could go in my fridge right now and grab ketchup and jelly, and that's not making barbecue. You want to do this on camera, off camera? I stand on this hill, bro. I can't see those two making a barbecue sauce. <laughs> if How? It'd be so sweet. Up, up, up. I'm letting the guy from the South make the How? judgment on that one. <sighs> Barbecue chicken alert. Barbecue. How, how, chicken how does alert. it? I like a nice musky, like musty uh, barbecue sauce. How does grape jelly? Oh, actually, I couldn't do it because I only have strawberry jelly in the fridge. Damn it. But even so, how does grape jelly and ketchup make barbecue sauce? That blows my mind. I can't understand how that works. Ironically, look it up. Strawberry barbecue sauce recipe. Is it literally ketchup and strawberry? Let's see. Two-third cup jam, quarter cup ketchup, quarter cup red wine vinegar. Oh, I got all that. Mustard powder, half teaspoon onion powder, four teaspoon soy sauce. Add on greens to non-reactive pop, bring to a boil. Cook the strawberry barbecue sauce, stir in regularly before it reaches desired thickness, two to five min minutes. Let sauce cool before storing it in a jar in the fridge. Later, dude. I can see adding grape jelly maybe to an already pre-made barbecue sauce for a sweetener, but there's no, no way you're telling me going straight Hi ketchup Heinz and ketchup. jelly. Heinz no. ketchup, no. Welch grape jelly. You're crazy. With some brown sugar. There's no way. I, I, I am not taking the I ketchup. I can't believe and... I'm trying to tell the Michigan man how to make sauce. I, I'm not. Yeah, as in jelly and ketchup. That does not make a barbecue sauce. Y'all are tripping. Those, if I mix those you're two, on hard it does not... and you're down, you're lucky. You got to improvise. Damn I, it. I, you're, there's no way you're going to tell me mixing those two alone without having any of the other ingredients makes barbecue. You're tripping. But, oh my you're God. crazy. You think I'm crazy. You... This, this is going to happen sometime. I swear to you. I can see you taking an already existing barbecue sauce and adding something like that to make it a sweet, yep. but. And, Those two and, alone and together mix fuck, it up does not make not. does not make it. Like we derailed hard there real quick from caffeinated beverages and supplements to food. Hey, hey, hey! Sometimes we hey we've we've discussed delicacies on we've discussed delicacies on here. Like like at the same time, if you want to talk about the Detroit deep dish, I gotta respect your opinions. When it comes to certain things in the uh, the Midwest, I gotta respect your opinions. Now, when it comes to pizza, I think I got a little leeway. I'm not even that big of a fan of deep dish, honestly. I think deep dish is mid. That's that's fine. I I haven't tried it, so I'm not ruling it out. But again, I got You've New never York tried pie. A deep I got dish. New Haven pie. Well, yeah, and not only that, but I was actually very fortunate because uh, someone my mother worked for, he actually had shipped over two Chicago pies shipped over here in the dry ice containers. And we put it in the oven, and that's still to this day my mother's favorite. Now, again, that's part pizza, part casserole, but it was damn good. Are you, are you talking like Chicago isn't like the sauces on top? Chicago deep dish. It, yes. You mean it's you mean under the sauce? Under the sauce. You mean it's under the sauce? Under the sauce. <laughs> Paulie, it's Paulie it's coming, take coming from me. the guy who lives in Michigan, the Detroit deep dish. I find deep dish mid. I would just regular have a regular round pizza. Deep dish is okay. Coming from the guy who is the Detroit guy, the Detroit deep dish guy. 
deep dish is fine. <laughs> I would rather try Chicago, honestly. I've never had it under the sauce. We got to see if we could actually, like, I got to see if I could, like, maybe do, like, the dry ice freaking, uh, you know, see if I could do it from, like, Pepe's or Sally's or Modern. I mean, just see if somebody New York, dry, dry New ice York pizza is typically just, like, just a regular round pizza, but it's a little bit thinner and it has more, like, uh, cheese to it. It's a little bit more, uh, like, stringy. It's a thin slice, yeah. Yeah, you hit yeah. It, New Haven style, it's uh it's a brick oven, it's a certain way of going about it. Uh yeah. very th- very thin crust, uh mm-hmm. heavy on cheese. Yep. I would be about that. You see, I want to see if I could actually dry ice that son of a bitch and send it your way. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, if I find a guy who actually does that, that will be like maybe like an early Christmas present to you and the lady. I think you'd actually like that. Now, again, it's actually very funny because when people buy it, some people get just like the regular. My toppings, it's actually uh, roasted red pepper and garlic. I just think the garlic on the pie and then the juices from the pepper, you got spice, you got crunch, you got the freshness. A little oregano on there can't hurt. It's got the juice. 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 Who's got Uh, the juice? So back to energy news. Uh, More people are leaving Advanced GG as partners. Uh, GamerSubs has a bunch of new products coming out. Apparently they just got Meat Canyon's flavor. I don't know what the flavor is. So more Advanced GG drama? Not drama, but more people are leaving. Uh, What the hell is the Twitter drama going on now about them? We saw what happened right now with Tekton. It's not drama. It's just people are like more people are leaving. Uh, and they got product that sells off the shelves, man. Like I got to figure out what the hell is going on with them. No idea what the, uh, no idea what the meat Canyon flavor. I don't know what that is either. And I honestly don't want to know. They just say it's the name is raw meat. And I know they had an Alice in Wonderland, uh, product come out today. Which, if you want to go sport alumni, code Jimbo or code uh, Goblin. You are a gamer subs person out there. Go sport alumni. What actually kind of got me was uh, this was a hmm, soccer splash GG is dropping in the 19th. I wonder what that is. Uh, where is it? I forgot the name of it, but I know it's a reskin. Uh, lemon limeade. No, wait one second. It's ah, I found it. Instead of Misfits Melon, it's just melon. Yes, so it's lit. So it's two anime chicks in watermelon bikinis holding up a a green melon, and in the melon, it just says just melon. It's like the uh, scene from Family Guy when someone's hidden on Lois in the grocery store. Oh, your wife's got nice melons. You son of a Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, yeah, your wife's was. I, you son of a Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, yeah, by the way, buddy, your wife's hot. All right, that's it, bud. Like the memes okay. from these guys uh, so- are just untamed. From the mouth of Jimbo, raw meat by Meat Canyon is supposed to be a uh, watermelon Jolly Ranch or watermelon uh, sour patch. Watermelon sour patch. Mm-hmm. That's the Meat Canyon. That's what our alumni just told me. Now, in my opinion, uh, I am docking points from Gamer Subs because looking on the page right here, there's no mention of the flavor that I can find. That is a straw sour watermelon or watermelon candy nothing of the sort that i can see here yeah like good like i'm sorry but bullshit absolute bullshit i think that's one thing all companies need to do 
uh, regardless. Even if you want to make it a meme flavor and a meme everything, like at least be straightforward to the point of what the intent of the flavor is supposed to be. Also, ooh, they do not have the OG uh, sus snack flavor in stock, but one thing I got to get to around is when they have those back in stock, I want to try and see if they could have the chocolate, the peanut butter, and the OG flavor. We got to try those sometime. Now, the Gamer Soups, I think we've covered this already. But, dude, it's just the name at this point. It really just is. Because, I mean, you see ramen cup ramen go in the stores and they're nothing you go them at the grocery stores they're less than a dollar a piece right sound about right mm-hmm gamer subs single cup 250 a piece I gotta be fair I gotta be fair no interest on my end if it's a decoration, I get it. But as far as actual consumption, I I can't say that I'm in on this. I'm just not. So yeah, it's literally them just trying to sell instant instant sweet ramen. There's like no caffeine or anything to it. It's just yeah, it's just them now trying to sell ramen. Yeah, that's been around going on. Although you could get a 12 pack for $15. Which, let me be real with you. I want to give them credit points for trying to be different and trying to create a different product and broadening their horizons and products. But let's be real now. Unless you're just a diehard Gamer Subs fan, why the hell are you even buying their instant speed noodles? Just go to Walmart, Myers, Kroger, whatever your nearest, Aldi, and just get you a box of, what was it, like 24, 12, 24 count, like ramen. Buy a dozen, buy 20, something like that. You buy it in bulk. You, it's going to be the same You can buy it at thing. Walmart, you can buy it at Costco, you can buy it at freaking BJ's, Sam's Club. It, it, it's common to find it in a freaking grocery store, exactly. Or if you want to go down to a convenience store, save yourself on shipping, I got it. And again, we got to be fair because what we rip advanced GG about a new ass for. I mean, many things. So no, this in particular, that makes it similar to this. Oh, they're overpriced. Uh, it, vitamins. They're vitamins. They're vitamin gummies, whatever. Aside the vitamin D that was actually good market priced. You have low dosage. High high prices. When again, the one thing is that actually kind of goes from this, right? Now, just keep in mind for somebody, this is what I have to do. Now, I am not a partner of an energy drink company like you are, Teach. But what is the number one thing when you find, especially when you were, everyone thought that you were drinking radiator coolant back in the day. Oh, doesn't matter if you were with Glitch. Doesn't matter if we were doing this show. What's the number one thing that they ask? What are you drinking? That and why should I buy this instead of this? This is what they ask. They go side by side. Why should I buy this powder crap over this can I've been drinking for years? That's the number one thing I get. Even wherever I work, anything. They say, why is this better? And if the simple fact is cost, some guys don't give a shit. Some guys like this being better at convenience. I'm not going to lie to you. You want to know why I drink more cans when I was at Waste Management? Simply because of cleanliness. Literally, that was the mere fact. Cleanliness. Can't blame me for that one. Well... Not really. I mean, uh, not only that, but it was, dude, it was cold. I need to, like, use the caffeine. Like, help me, like, stay warm and such. Like, you have no clue. But that is a regular occurrence there. And, if again, if I cannot say that, if I can't say that the Walmart is better or anything else, again, it's like, hey, why should I buy that crap over this that I've been having? Then it's right next door. 
Mm-hmm. Same thing applies. And uh, same thing goes with gamer subs where it's just like, hey, if it's for the shelf, I get it. If it's for consumption, please don't make me compare this to other box ramen. Please. Now, uh, mind you, it may be better tasting. I have no idea on the actual taste, but in general, it's just more expensive. So you might as well just go buy regular ramen. Yeah. <sighs> Mind you, I feel like we used to cover a lot more brands in a way, but it also feels like brands are dwindling right now. Juju's kind of falling behind. Mall's falling behind. Sneak is somewhere in between. Like your well, big one. Also, just keep keep this in mind, and that is mostly because uh, Juju, I want to say, is in like this limbo phase. Like right now, if you go on to the website, if I go to tubs, we have one, two, we only have two tubs that could actually be in the cart because everything else is out of stock and they're for $5 a piece. I remember them saying that they were having a rebrand sometime in March, but yeah. It's just weird. Mm-hmm. As far as sneak goes, again, it's a U- it's a UK thing mostly. And then there's, of course, different site where it's like sneak US, sneak EU. I mean, there's the sneak vision where it looks like a blockbuster and the rumor of the flavor was like a Mountain Dew-ish. Let's see. Sure. This numerous green rocket fuel is lemon, lime, and orange flavor. And the other tub of this, a taste that transports you back to Saturday nights as they should be. The flavor is called toffee popcorn. Huh. Um. Yep. Toffee Popcorn. Say less. Yeah. Okay. They actually have sneak popcorn. It's caffeinated popcorn. Vegan contains soya. Nostalgic butterscotch flavor. What? How and why? Not 100% sure. I do not understand. I get trying to be different, but... How the hell do you put 100 mil, 150 milligrams of caffeine into a bag of popcorn? I am so confused. And at the same time, not a good way. Like, there's some times where I'm, like, so happy and I'm like, I don't know how this works, but I like it. I'm so confused here, and I'm against it. I feel like this is when people were talking crap about uh, XQC freaking pouring G Fuel powder on McDonald's fries and chowing on it like that. But of course, I always said that that guy's just such an ass. It's hard to believe anything that the guy has. Sorry, but you're just a toxic, uh, degenerate gambler. And well... <laughs> I have no idea how a guy is six foot something, only like 130 pounds, but that's not exactly uh, peak male physique. Damn. I don't know. That's just, again, he can update his Twitch at any time, but if the guy's literally like 140 pounds at like six feet something, like he says he is, that means I could literally throw that dude over my shoulder, fireman's carry, and like put him into the the attitude adjustment, like John Cena. Mind you, you and I are the same height, which is funny enough. Yes. And I'm pretty sure if I can do that, so can you. I am not Arnold. I'm more like Arnold, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I I, don't have the definition, you know. <laughs> I know you certainly do. 
Not anymore. I haven't hit the gym in a long time. It's been almost two years. I, I do construction. I do labor. I don't go to the gym. I work at cardboard and cardboard accessories. <laughs> so you're telling me, so you're telling me that you you got nothing right now? I, I don't have the same as I used to. It's definitely not the same. It's Hold a on, lot less. Hold on. Move, move that camera around. Hopefully it's a, it's a lot less that. than what it used to be. It's not the same as what it once was. This is not shit. That's still that's still bigger than me. No. I can't, can't no. Really... Get yeah. out of here. No, that what I have like, ain't shit. Put a t-shirt on and flex right now. Mm -mm. Okay, that's good. But you're that those pipes are those pipes are stronger than mine. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. You still got pipes. Stop mm, it. These are squirt guns, okay? Bitches love cannons. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's uh, this episode took an interesting twist of uh, us actually talking about energy stuff as we normally do, and then us just kind of doing weird entertaining banter so i mean i i mean you kind of got to just to keep the time going along and we kind of knew that this was coming because i mean again it's not our fault that a lot of these brands want things to run dry a little bit but uh i guess there is the two questions that uh kind of we got around there so i remember asking this and uh, this was a follower question so when you asked me, uh, yes. Oh man. That's such an open question in a way. Like it's a weird one to ask. Cause we don't keep track. Well, actually, if you think about it, right. The question was how many different energy drinks have we tried too much, too many, a lot. I think it's at least 200. I don't have an actual number. Well, but I, but I, I think I can ballpark it. My, my, the main thing are they talking different like i would have to have them give a little bit more well, context because like well, we're talking just, brands or so just take, flavors so take so take this into account right this is one yeah this is one what are we talking brands or flavors uh technically that'd be both like let's say we go by let's say we go with cherry Glitch has two different sherries. Look at and every single brand that does a cherry, then there's a revamp. Or there's a there's at least 25 right next to me. Okay, so we have 25 in glitch alone. And that's not that's other new. things that you haven't tried. That's, that's V3, not, not even V1 or V2. That's not V1. If we had to include V1 and the pro line, that's probably what 35. That's a lot. So let's go with 35 at the moment. Have you tried every single flavor of Red Bull? Vast majority. So that's another about 20. So we, right have, now, we have tried quite a lot. So let's see. We've tried every almost every G Fuel flavor out there prior to what, two years ago? A year ago minimum. That's about 80 to 100. Awesome. I can't even remember what was like the very last thing I ordered from them. Shocks. Yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right on that one. Shock well, was the cutoff. You said that on the show a few times, and it's kind of like rounded in my mind. Then we go with how many different monsters they've made. It's too many. Juju's made a ton of stuff. Uh, we've tried some advanced GG. Then we even got the smaller brands. I brand freshen up things that Brian and Brit have sent to us for the hell of it. There's been like generic. There's been like, you know, the bangs, the rains, the rise. It's probably you added up. over 200. It's definitely over 200 at this point. So I just say over 200 at this point. And I think that's a very good guesstimate. We can't give you all a list because that take way too long, too long. And way too much research, but we can firmly say over 200 and I'll consider that some people have tried like five. It's just like, it's like, there's some people that'd be like, Hey, what's your poison monster? Try that. And some people are like, you're the energy drink guy. It's like, 
I've tried over two or two hundred different kinds. I could say what your poison is, and I think you could go about it. And some people ask me like, how now, like what's your flavor? What's your tolerance? What do you want to get out of it? There's some people where I tell them to take the regular five hour energy and some to get the extra five hour energy, mm-hmm. which I had no idea. The extra was two thirty caffeine. I remember the regular ones. They says enough as a, a cup of coffee, which that was like a hundred eighty. I think was it 80. I thought they were a hundred. 80. I could be wrong if they switched it to 90 or something else. <sighs> I could be very wrong. But we digress, but that was a uh, fun and interesting episode 112. Uh, By the it, way, it, I am I am ref- talking to the person who gave me this ketchup and jelly and brown sugar barbecue sauce recipe. So I hope you are prepared. Oh, gosh. Again, we are going to figure this out. I am told it is a 50-50 ratio. It's a one-to-one ratio, and at the end, brown sugar to your desire. Because then you get your consistency, your taste, your sweetness. And best served over a good chicken. I had all the ingredients I would do it because I have to go make dinner right after we hop off the podcast as I typically do. Well, I guess you're going to be tabling this for now. But mark my words, teach plays. I will make a man out of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Trying to be the Shang from Mulan. <laughs> It's just funny how we just go casual on an episode. It's like no no background music. No need to put too much effort into it. It's just say what's on the mind, say what's on the brain, and just kind of go from there. And no matter what, I, I've always said by this time, no matter what, we're always going to be friends. And Dish in the Dirt is always good because it's impossible to be somebody you're not. It's impossible for us not to crack jokes. And as we say every Monday, well, actually, let's see. We'll be here on Monday. Enjoy the salad bar. Enjoy the salad an bar. Hour to sound. Yes, enjoy the salad bar. Now, we could think of probably more, but, uh, you know, come on. We, we can only cook for so long. A guy needs to punch out and take his break. A guy needs a smoke break, needs to take lunch, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Speaking of which, dude, if... Oh, my God. I got to thank you and everybody for today because it's just been an absolutely stressful freaking day. And speaking of smoking, if I actually did smoke, I'd be smoking two buds at once. It was that kind of day. Got to quit the cigars, man. Got to put them down. I've, I've cut back a lot, man. Good. I have. And if anyone wants to know, I haven't had a drink since I want to say the first week of January. And I've kept it strong. Good. And I'm not going to lie to you. There's actually been many times where I've been invited out and I just declined because they're like, oh, well, you can just uh, tip the bartender and our soda and water and all that. And I'm like, it's the concept. Well, it's kind of like when I told Bam Mar. It's kind of like what I said about Bam Margera. If you're trying to be sober, keep your ass out of the bar. Yep. Right? Yeah. Uh, any final remarks, Teach? Anything good coming out? Nope. Anything good streaming? Any good from Recon streaming? Anything good from Glitch coming out? I mean, you, got you, the new, you got the new Mango and the new uh, oh, Reskin Bomber Pop, the updated line. But otherwise... We will save it for next week. We we can't let them know everything right at the end. You got to save it for next week. That's very true. Very true. (laughs) I got to see what I got to send out to you and a couple of our people, depending on my work week. To say the least, this is going to be something hopefully looking to be exciting about. But in the meantime, everybody, even though this is technically an angel's hat, 
on Jackie Robinson Day, the Dodgers get passed this week. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm not going to disgrace the 42 on such a great, fine tradition right now. It just is what it is. Take care. Oh, brush your hairs. Take care. Brush your hair. Order a hash brown on your egg sandwich next time you can. Uh, it's warming up, and if you're going to be in a confined space and you're going to be sweating your ass off and you don't want to uh, fall apart like one ply of toilet paper, drink your freaking water. Mm-hmm. Drink your water every hour if you can, if possible. Please, so help me God do. Uh, respect the people that work outdoors when it's heating up. Always remember to tip your servers and the people in need, especially the people that help you in uh, trades. I always do it, especially your movers, especially the movers. Leave war for the mailman, the UPS guys, Amazon guy, etc. Uh, fuck the virus because he's a dick. And uh, I think that's all I got for this one. Everybody, thank you for putting up with my dumb ass this monday as well as my handsome co-host please stay caffeinated please drink your freaking water stay safe wear your sunscreen and we will see you hopefully next week take it easy everybody